Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a kite and we need to find the value of the variable x and y in this picture. And first of all, you notice in the picture that we have these two sides congruent and these two sides congruent, but opposite sides are not congruent. So that's the reason we have a kite. And one property of the kite is that we have one pair, only one pair of congruent angle. Which one are those? If you have an accurate picture, you can really see it. These are the only two congruent angles, B and D. The other two, BAC and BCD, are not congruent. So angle B congruent of angle D, which means the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle D. We can write an equation now, which is 5x plus 20 equals 6x plus 5. And we need to find x. I'll subtract 5x on both sides. And we have 20 equals x plus 5. And the last step, subtract 5. And we end up with an x of 15. So we, find, we have x. We need to find y. And the way you need to find y is by using one of these two triangles. Okay, let's say we're using, in fact, we're going to use the top one because that is the uh, triangle where we have y's. And like I said, that is a triangle. Um, so, triangle ABC. The sum of the interior angles of that triangle is 180, right? And we can find angle B, in fact, by just replacing with this 15. So the measure of angle B, which is 5x plus 20, will be 5 times 15 plus 20. That will be 75 plus 20. And that will be 95. That is the measure of angle B, which we're going to need it for my next step. Which is going to be what? We're going to write the sum of the interior angle of triangle ABC. So the measure of angle B, I'm going to start with that one, plus the measure of angle BCA. And let me, let me be sure I mark it different. Plus the measure of angle, let me mark it different, BAC, the sum of these three angles is 180. And angle B, we know, is 95. BCA is 2y. And BAC is 3y plus... Let me erase a little bit here. 3y plus 30. Equals 180. So now we notice we have an equation in y and... We can combine 95 and 30, that is 125. We can combine the y's. Then we subtract 125 on both sides. That will be 55. And the last step, divide by 5. So we finish with y equals 11. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.